very warm good morning and welcome all of you good morning madam you are you are audible good morning sir good morning. sir can i start the program sir yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you so much, sir. Okay. Ajay, sir, can we start the program? Yes, ma'am, please. Thank you so much, sir. Very warm good morning to all of you. It's really a privilege and honor to greet you on this prestigious and graceful occasion, where every passing moment. Will make a positive impression on life and play an important role in changing one's attitude towards life, work, and responsibility. International Conference on Combination Transforming Business and Ethics in the Content of Sustainable Development is being organized by the Department of Commerce and Management, Christian Eminent College, Indore, in jointly. Collaboration with Research Foundation of India and RFI Care. It's a conference, but I would like to name it a fair, a fair to life thoughts, a fair to new dimensions, a fair to exchange incredible thoughts and ideas which bring the miraculous changes in one's attitude and work. So let's gain the maximum advantage of innovative learning. From Ocean of Knowledge, it's a privilege to welcome the renowned personality who, at the peak of their careers, they are extremely figures in the field of education. Their story of success is well known, uh, and inspire us to follow them. I, Dr. Indira Dixit, extend a warm welcome to all honorable guests and honorable dignitaries. They are participants virtually present here from different parts of world. To inaugurate this conference today, we have with us our honourable and respected guest, Ms. Melissa Esposito San Giorgio Acrimeno Campania from Italy, Dr. Ankeleda Lulaj, Faculty of Management in Tourism, Hospitality and Environment. University Hexi Zeka from Europe, Abdul Gafur Marshuki, State Islamic University of Dr. Karma Palu, Indonesia, Dr. Mamta Gudial, ma'am, founder of Magipi, Sijan, banker and social worker. From Delhi, Mrs. Priya Savant, ma'am, transformational training expert, author, positive psychology practitioner from Mumbai, India, as a special guest and today's keynote speaker. Heartily welcome to all of you. I also welcome the entire management and administrative authority of Christian Eminent College and Research Foundation of India. According to the Indi Indian traditional tradition, every work begins with the worship of Goddess Saraswati, the Goddess of Knowledge. So let's start this program with the worship of Ma Saraswati. I request to Yogi sir, please play the Saraswati Vandana.
जय मां सरस्वती After the worship of Ma Saraswati, now I would like to invite Dr. Manish Khargonkar, sir, organizing secretary of conference committee and senior faculty, Department of Commerce and Management, for introduction about the conference. Now over to you, Dr. Manish Khargonkar, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Thank you, Dr. Indira Dixit, ma'am. We feel immense pleasure to organize this uh, three-day international conference, which is on the topic combination, transforming business and ethics in the context of sustainable development. A very warm good morning to all. Sustainable development is a very significant topic nowadays. and particularly for those countries who are uh, or who wish to remain on the international level in the country like india it is found that the research which is related with ethics or research from the aspect of ethical approach are very less so this conference is organized and the business activities in our country when they are at its acme at the top level the ethical approach must be thought by the businessmen as well as by the faculty members as well as by the research scholars also because the business activities are ultimately for the welfare of the nation as well as the society of the nation as we all know that indian economy is a mixed economy so social welfare is the most important factor for us today this conference will consist the expert lectures by the learned international speakers the research paper presentations by faculty members students and research scholars and i hope that it will be a very fruitful platform for all these people thank you very much now i hand over the screen and mic to dr indira dikshit thank you so much dr manish sir now i introduce christian amarant college in the journey of 25 years christian amarant college has achieved remarkable place in the field of education and it is still embarking on to new avenues of teaching learning experiences which make it very difficult creative and fruitful the ugc has granted autonomous status to the college in addition to that the college has also been awarded with a grade by nac in two consecutive cycles see uh, christian amarant college emphasizes on skill building and overall development of learners the college student have excelled in academics as well as sports and cultural activities they have given outstanding performance at state national and international levels christian amarant college is known for the excellent and talented faculties who have conferred on with numbers of national and international awards christian amarant college always strive for the best now moving ahead i would like to request dr professor rajesh ji shah sir honorable vice principal of krishan amanant college indore for his speech before before uh, invited to dr rajesh shah sir i am introduced to shah shah sir is having more than 27 years of academic and teaching experiences so completed his degree mca mcm and phil in computer science microsoft certified professional phd from mewar university he is life member of the indian society for technical education and national geographic society member of bos computer engineering and computer science devi ahilya university indore member of advisory board 
various universities and reputed college. He is review member of many reputed journals, also member of Research Foundation of India. So published more than 15 international research paper in reputed journal with high impact factors. So completed and submitted one final research project of UGC on a study of design and development of cloud environment in autonomous institutions. So authored a book titled Fundamentals of Computer and PC Software 21. You have consulted many software companies under his leadership college perform various activities like blood donation and blood blood checking camp AIDS awareness program literacy moments digital india cashless moments cleanliness tribes and voter awareness programs now i request to shasa for address over to you sir please give your speech uh, thank you very much for this nice introduction. Uh, thank you. A very warm good morning to one and all present here in this three days international conference. On the behalf of autonomous NAIC A grade Christian Eminent College in Doha, I, Dr. Rajesh Shah, Vice Principal, extend a very warm welcome to all the delegates and participants present today for the international conference on the subject formulation, transforming business and ethics in the content of sustainable development jointly organized by Department of Commerce and Management, Christian Eminent College, Research Foundation of India, and RFI Care. I am really delighted to say that this year, we have completed our 25 golden years. The conference aimed to bring different ideology under one roof and provide opportunity to exchange ideas face-to-face to establish research relations and to find qualitative research. We have invited eminent uh, dignitaries from different sectors to get a better understanding of transforming business and ethics in content of sustainable development. We wish to welcome and thanks all our eminent guests and uh, keynote speaker Melissa Spostio from Italy, Dr. Enkelinda Lulji from Europe, uh, Abdul Ghaffar uh, Murzuki from Indonesia, Dr. Mamta Gudiyal Madam from Delhi, and Mrs. Priya Savant, Madam, from Mumbai. We would like to thank Dr. Surabh Jain, sir, Chairman, RFI, uh, Dr. Ashok Kumar Gupta, sir, uh, CMD, RFI, uh, my friend, Dr. Ajay Jain, sir, President, Central India Board, RFI, and very dynamic person, Dr. Manish Dube, sir, and all RFI team. We are very thankful to our Chairman, Mr. Samir Meer, sir, Director, Professor H.N. Gupta, sir, Director Edwin, Professor Vice Chuan, sir, and Principal Dr. Rajesh Vyas, sir, for their blessings to organize this conference. Last but not the least, we would like to thanks and congratulate to Dr. Kiran Panchal, madam, head of the Department of Commerce and Management, and uh, convener of this conference, and uh, organizing committee, teachers, and students for their contribution in the successful organizing and managing this event. We welcome you all and hope that this conference will act as a medium for all of us present here to ponder upon the topic of discussion challenges us to stream towards it and inspire us at the same time. Thank you. Thank you very much. And welcome again. Thank you. Thank you. Over to Indira. Thank you. Thank you so much. Your precious words always work for us. Thank you so much, sir. Now I'm introduced Research Foundation of India. Research Foundation of India is a registered organization working for the social upliftment and higher education quality and Indian research promotions. RFI works for the integration of intellectual ideas across the global. RFI members, RFI, uh, RFI members are faculty, researcher, graduate students, and other professionals with rich and diverse expertise in education research. It has signed MOU with top university from India. Under MOU, the Christian Eminent College has conducted various activities in association with RFI. Moving forward, I would like to request uh, respected Dr. Sorabji Jansar, Chairman and CEO RFI for welcome address. 
Dr. Sourav Jain sir also appointed as Vice President of World Federation of Science and Technology and President of Engineering Research Foundation. He did first doctorate in Power System Engineering and second doctorate in Role. Dr. Jain has organized more than 500 international national event on the name of Dr. Jain. Five patents and copyright has published from India. Over to you, Dr. Saurabh Jain, sir. Please give your welcome speech. Dr. Saurabh Ji Jain, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Due to some technical issues, sir, not present in here. And after that, I would like to uh, request it, respect it, Dr. Ashok Kumarji Gupta, sir, CMD Research Foundation of India for address. Ashok Kumar Gupta, sir, is having a rich experience in the industrial field and educational field. He had published more than 50 research paper in national and in international journals. Professor Dr. Ashok Kumar Gupta, sir, visited USA and renowned university as far as the association with the RFI in concert. He is considered as one of the founder member of Research Foundation of India. I request to Dr. Ashok Kumarji Gupta, sir, please come and give your speech. Dr. Ashok Thank Kumarji Gupta, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Thank you. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's session. This is Professor Dr. Ashok Kumar Gupta, CMD RFI from Delhi NCR. I feel dignified to be invited to this inaugural session of International Conference on Combination Transforming Business and Ethics in the Context of Sustainable Development. This is organized by Department of Commerce and Management, Christian Emanuel College, Research Foundation of India and RFI Care, in association with World Virtual Conference Forum, World Federation of Science and Technology, International Research Guide Federation, Academic Research Guide Association, EDU Academic INC. The aim of this international conference is to provide the most complete and reliable source of information on the recent advancement in the field of combination transforming business and ethics in the context of sustainable development. This webinar covers a broad range of topics in this field. The National Education Policy 2020 has given a clarion call for holistic value-based education to prepare our youth and develop our nation because education is fundamental for achieving full human potential, developing an equitable and just society and promoting national development. RFI is working in this line only. Now it is my privilege and honor to welcome all the dignitaries, resource persons, and experts available for this international conference. Thank you all for coming at such short notice. I really appreciate you all for attending today. My sincere thanks to Dr. Saurabh Jain, Chairman and CEO Research Foundation of India, and a special thanks to Dr. Ajay Jain and team RFI for managing this wonderful session. I would also like to thank the support of organizing and participating institutes, all the participants who are attending the session with full enthusiasm, and to those who have given their input to this webinar. Again, thanks to all for your support and dedication. Thanks a lot once again. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much, Gupta, sir. Your blessings is our strength. Thank you so much, sir. Now the time of introduce our eminent guest and keynote speaker. I would like to invite Dr. Kiran Panchal, ma'am, convener in this conference and head of the Department Commerce and Management. Please come and introduce our keynote speaker, Ms. Melissa Exposito, ma'am.
audible am i audible good morning to one and all myself dr kiran on the behalf of christian eminent college on the occasion of free day national conference conference is what conference is a platform where we share our knowledge with new researcher or we can say where we placed with knowledge from various resource person and we are very fortunate to among with us miss malisa esposito from italy she is a very renowned academician she is a great researcher and she is a great thinker and it is a great privilege and immense thing for us to have with us without wasting a more time now i start to give us some brief introduction of miss malisa miss malisa is associated with various international and national institutions and event she is work with mathematics field of the research she is also associated with very con- very much conferences and academician institutions she is a well known for the writing communication skills she is associated with the global education network she has received a guest of honor from the various universities and the various institutions and organization she is also comfortable with the digital literacy she is associated with eu code she worked with digital environment cooperative learning move distance learning she scored 100 out of 100 in some program she is a worried worked on the knowledge competency and consolidation and human science for numeracy module she has a vast vast knowledge of mathematics field and the research field she got certificate of participation in the course from the emergency remote teaching we all are know during the pandemic situation this remote teaching is a very useful to share the knowledge and spread the knowledge among all the students she is also a program coordinator for the remote teaching training for the scholastic her experience is too vast without wasting more time i am inviting ms malisa ma'am please ma'am come and enlighten us with your knowledge and words of wisdom ma'am please now i give mic to and the screen to ms malisa thank you so much I think due to some technical issues, Melissa, ma'am, not connected with us. Move ahead. I would like to invite Professor Kulkit Yadav, sir, Joint Secretary and Faculty of Department of Commerce and Management. Please come and introduce Dr. N. K. Leda Lulas, sir. Dr. Kul. Uh, Professor Kulkit Yadav, sir. Good morning, all. Welcome to the international conference. I am glad that I have got the opportunity to introduce our renowned guest, Assistant Professor Dr. Ankhilada Lulaj. He is a doctor of science in finance and accounting, working as a professor assistant at the Faculty of Management in Tourism, Hospitality and Environment, University Agzi Zeka, Teja State of Kosovo. She is the founder of Bond, Ambassador of Financial Evaluation, Ambassador for Women Tech, as well as the Ambassador for Research and Innovation. She is the Country Director of International Young Society and Country Director of World Voice International. She is the member of editorial board of many magazines in different countries in the world, such as USA, Belgium, Georgia, Germany, Denmark, Ukraine, India, Pakistan, Philippines, etc. she has a great experience in the international conference as a supervisor as a member of the scientific committee as a member of the editorial board as a session chair in universities institutes 
and various countries of the world follows belgium france switzerland austria turkey uk south korea india italy etc she is the reviewer in prestigious journal on scopus and web of science such as uk and switzerland she is also has an excellent experience as a visiting professor to the lecture on economics finance accounting education teaching research and many other topics relevant to the economic development financial stability and quality enhancement in higher education at many universities institutes ngos symposiums summits workshops webinars around the world such as us india indonesia egypt etc she has completed many training and programs in the field of economics finance accounting research management diversity etc in world universities such as us ukraine italy austria germany malaysia pakistan and it's certified from the world bank and international monetary fund through the edx program she is the member of institute of economics education and research has experience in the projects through erasmus plus euphoria campus programs she is the winner of many awards in the world such as teaching science creative ideas a successful woman peace etc in kosovo she has an excellent experience in many functions within the universities as a member of university board senator coordinator for the academic development and the quality assurance member of commission for international and member of many other committees with the faculty and the university she has been distinguished in, uh, student in kosovo and now has number of acknowledgments from student as distinguished professor she is ready for collaboration and teamwork without any further delay i would like to invite the honorable guests to share their valuable thoughts and enlighten us please uh, welcome ms uh, ankleda lulach over to you ma'am good morning greetings to all of you can you hear me clearly <clears throat> yes ma'am just a moment i i would like to share my screen with you can you see my screen clearly yes yes ma'am greetings once once again in my state it's early morning thank you once again for inviting me i'm very honored and grateful to be here uh, just a moment uh, because my network is very poor so uh I am Professor Enkele Dalulai from State of the Kosovo. I work at the University Hajizeka, Faculty of Management in Tourism, Hospitality and Environment. I am Professor of Finance and Accounting. Really, I'm very honored and, and glad to be here. So uh, today I will talk about which businesses uh, have the most financially uh, stable position. I will make a relation between the skills that manages in leadership at and my scientific paper conducted in 100 businesses in my state in Kosovo state. I invite you to listen carefully because you will learn a lot. At the end, you will see the recommendation that will help the businesses or companies. You will also see which businesses have the most stable financial position based on economic model. Uh, as I am a professor of finance, so you uh, you will learn more about this paper accepted by Web of Science. So uh, what next? So in this slide, you can see agenda, introduction for this uh, speech, uh, general information about companies, financial stable, financial position, etc. Results based on econometric models. What next? You will uh, learn more about in the next slide and in the end question and answer. So a quick lit about me. Uh, I am Professor Angeli Dalulia and I have a great experiences uh, around the world. I am a guest professor at Washington State University in USA, a professor for financial management. 
Now in this slide, you will see a theory and relation, as I mentioned before, between my uh, paper or case study um, conducted in 100 businesses in Kosovo. So uh, what, uh, what next? So as I mentioned before, uh, business managers tips for success, please keep in mind because it's very important for all leaders, for all managers uh, in all uh, companies around the world. Uh, you can see eight step uh, example. Step number one, identify your strength. What about this step? What is important about this step? So all leaders have their own talents, which are used in different ways to bring out the best in themselves and others. Write down what you believe are your strongest assets and skills as well. Keeping this in mind, decide what the best steps are for you to progress your career. Try not to compare yourself with others, but to approach people who inspire you to ask for their best advice. What next? Step number two, or develop existing skills. Uh, focus on developing the skills you already have. Becoming an expert in your field can give you more value as a leader, opening you new avenue for your future and teaching you how to be more receptive to new opportunities uh, that arise. Find a mentor, step number three. W when looking to make your next career move, it's worth investing in a mentor, even if you are fairly senior in your field. And step number four, get a different perspective. It's very important for you as well this step. Get a different perspective for your business, for your company as a leader or as a manager. Example, opening yourself up to different perspectives will help you make more accurate decisions that are driven by long-term thinking and experiences rather than emotions. Leaders are externally a view and they look for new ideas, new innovation and inspiration from every, everywhere. Step number five, network, network, network. Based on my experience as a professor for finance and as a leader for my business, it's very important this step, network, network, network. What about this step? So networking can be pivotal for career advancement and achieving success as a leader. It helps you gain a greater understanding of the landscape outside of your own workplace. In a turn, helps the outside world know more about you. So try to inject your personality every everywhere you can. And what next? The step number six, take risk, uh, as well is very important uh, for, for success or financial uh, stable or position at your company, example. Uh, leaders or managers must feel uh, comfortable taking risk. Many decisions and actions are reversible and do not need extensive study. And uh, say no more often, or step number seven, uh, seeing no isn't just freeing, it's necessary. If you disagree with a decision, explain your stance and give evidence. Every boss, every manager, every uh, leader is unique, but as a rule, honestly, is always the best policy.
in the end, you can see step number eight or insist on the highest standards. What about this uh, step? So natural leaders have uh, relentlessly high standards. A lot of people may think the standards are unreasonably high, but it's so very, very important that leaders are continually raising the bar and driving their teams or their groups to deliver high quality products, high quality services and processes as well. Now what next? So as I mentioned before, I will make a relation with my paper uh, 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 accepted by Web of Science. So in this slide, you can see why financial position. What about this step? Or variables business need to reflecting on success and financial position. Number of uh, number of businesses or companies, 100 businesses in Kosovo, results, logistic regression and natural logarithm. Why financial position? So in every country and in Kosovo, my state, the pandemic has caused a lot of damage uh, to companies, to businesses, closing some, reducing the number of employees, etc. For businesses to success and have a good financial position in the market, the decision-making board in cooperation with the financial manager, accounting and others must work harder and analyze in detail each financial item in the financial statements to see their financial position. So through financial statements, uh, how to say financial planning should be analyzed accurately for future profit for the payment of future liabilities according to the majority date, as well as how to ha have a sustainable policy for the benefit of the dividend and uh, it's very important as well uh, the efficiency of workers uh, the quality of customer service and the way to the business is financed affect the stability of the financial position so uh, based uh, in this theory about why financial position is uh, is so important for for uh, all companies need for reflecting on success and, by, and financial position. Uh, you will learn more about in the next uh, slide uh, based on results from logistic regression and natural logarithm. And uh, a number of businesses, as I mentioned before, 100 uh, businesses. So this research was conducted in 100 businesses of different activities, example, manufacturing or services. The data in this research are primary and the secondary. The primary data were realized through the interviews with financial manager or leaders and other manages of uh, businesses while the secondary data were collected from internal sources such as financial reports, documents, as well as external sources, the agency for business, the auditor office, the ministry of o uh, economy development, etc. And uh, what about this slide? Uh, so you in this slide, you can see all variables included in this uh, in this presentation. Example in this uh, presentation are included uh, uh, six variables. Example, business size, active of the balance sheet, incomes and expenses, written on asset, written on equity, financial position, liability from passive of the sheet balance, net profit, etc. Also, you can see two hypotheses. The main hypothesis, there is no relationship between the financial position and size of the businesses and the 
alternative hypothesis, there is significant relationship between the financial position and size of the businesses. So the purposes of this hypothesis is to look except the business size and financial position and other variables incorporated in them. Do they have a greater impact on the success of large or small companies or enterprises and uh, it's very important some advice as a goals example in the future uh, as a as a leader or as a manager in in any companies goals what about goals so based on uh, my experiences as a manager at my business so business priorities for your business example increase counts numbers of satisfaction or maintain growth, or diversify investment in sector, or initiative partnership. As I mentioned before, uh, before network, network, network. Uh, step number six, and example employ opportunities for training, for education, for innovation in uh, in their job, etc. And top. 10 ways to improve your company financial position. It's very important all this, uh, these factors uh, for your uh, financial position. Example, lower your expenses. What is the best strategy or the, what is the best policy for your uh, expenses at your company? Or uh, any step or any factor uh, is example rediscover outstanding payments or give customers multiple payment option as well is very very important to uh, to uh, to have this this step at your company and self answered or unwanted assets raise your price or uh, raise money with grants or crowdfunding, apply for business financing, improve your marketing. It's uh, very important. Please keep in mind because uh, the marketing in your company, in financial position, in uh, to increase your profit, it's very important. Marketing strategy for marketing for your company, consolidate debt, etc. And what next? You in a, in this slide you can see timeline. Also, you will see four Q number one, two, three, four, or July, September, January, March, April, June, October, and December. So also in this box, you will see some question for your company. Please keep in mind because it's very, very important to increase your net profit. Example, setting priorities. What are the best priorities for your company? Example, new location, new marketing, new ideas, new product, etc. Building visions. Who is the best visions for your company? As a company for a manufacturing company or, or any other company or thinking out of the box, network, 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 or enabling innovation. Innovation, it's very important for each company, for each state, for each country, because uh, we live in, uh, in, in, in this, in this uh, time with so many innovation in technology, in programs, etc. Or uh, networking stakeholders, or giving uh, a lead time for innovation or making evidence-based decision. What is the best uh, way to, uh, to making evidence for your company, for your decisions, exploring alternative futures. Uh, example, what are the alternative for future at your company, new, new product or new idea or innovation or or etc. based on your strategy at your company. And uh, in this slide, you can see the results about my paper conducted 100 uh, businesses in Kosovo. So uh, 
financial position of businesses in the market through natural logarithm and mathematical equations. The logistic regression model is based on chains and opportunities as well. So this table indicates according to the variables of financial position as a successful businesses are uh, 47 large businesses and seven small businesses out of a total of four uh, uh, 54 that have a good financial position while according to the same variables but as uh, unsuccessful businesses or with very little success are six large businesses and 14 small out of a total 47. Uh, what next? So the, and the results about uh, uh, classification table and variables in the equation, financial situation, highest successful businesses and uh, less successful or not at all successful businesses. You can see six steps. So this table indicates the classification results for each step through the cutoff value and the probabilities provided for the financial situation of businesses with better financial position and those with poor financial position are for 57% uh, in the first step or 66% in the second step or 71.7% .7 in the third step or 79.1% .1 in the fourth step or 89.0% uh, in the fifth step, or 19.2% uh, in the sixth step. So also in function of the selection of uh, variables, all variables and constant are very, very important and the level of 5%. But the variables within the highest level of importance are the six step example written on equity, written on active, uh, net profit, etc. While variables that are important but have a negative value are uh, liabilities. So in this uh, in this case, businesses need to more attention to these uh, variables in order to have a better financial position. And what next? Also, you can see the results about the original value of the dependent variables and other co coded values. So this table indicates the financial position, highly successful businesses with number one and uh, unsuccessful businesses or with little success uh, with uh, number zero and the businesses size large businesses are 45 and small businesses are 70 uh, 47 out of a total of uh, 54 uh, large businesses uh, 47 of them are successful while six are the less successful or close to financial failing. Out of the total of 47 small businesses, seven of them success and 14 are at risk of uh, bankruptcy or financial failing, especially with difficult time with pandemic, as I mentioned before, uh, so many companies are closing, so many employees are reducing it uh, at uh, their work, etc. And what next? So uh, which businesses have the most uh, financial stable position? What should businesses do in the future? The success rate of large businesses was confirmed by 95.5 or 96%. Also in this slide, you can see for a site for businesses, future thinking and improvement. Uh, this step are very important for company. And what about recommendation? So um, example, uh, one recommendation for uh, these businesses and all businesses, the financial condition of the enterprises is very important to attract investors. Model, uh, models used for this purpose help 
investors and financial managers to see financial position of uh, businesses and as well as to anticipate future financial situation by reducing unnecessary expenses. Or another recommendation, large businesses need to improve the negative variables to continue successfully in the market. Or some financial items in some businesses have financial uh, fluctuations need to be done for their management and improvement efficiently, more specifically financial transaction that increase total cost during production and services. Or uh, how, how to say financial transaction must be carried out in accordance with financial planning. Small businesses need to increase the number of financial transaction through accurate managerial uh, planning. Uh, what is the best uh, strategy example for, for one uh, small business? And uh, services and uh, production should be improved in enterprises with poor financial success. So uh, in this slide, you can see uh, one quotes, businesses opportunities are like buses. There is always another one coming, uh, Richard Branson. So please, it's very important uh, for, for all leaders or managers. Uh, and uh, thank you so very much. If, uh, Thank you for, for your attention. Thank you for your attention. Hope you enjoyed my presentation. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Thank you once again. It was a great pleasure to be here. for your uh, very basic information and important uh, uh, information about the business, business strategies and business managers and your marketing strategies. Thank you so much. Now, I like, uh, I would like to invite Professor Punita Ma'am for introduce to our next keynote speaker, Priya Ma'am. Please come. Yes. Hello, everyone. Um, and it's very pleasurable moment for me to introduce Priya, ma'am. Mrs. Priya Savant is an international award-winning inspirational speaker and a leadership training expert. She's a very dynamic, optimistic, and multifaceted person. She started her career as a research scientist at Inar Chemicals, Mumbai, and later in Red Talks and Red Limited. Uh, she has worked with senior scientists of Baba Academic Research Center for developing excipient formulations. She has worked in various highly reputed educational institutions as well as corporates all over India. She's an avid learner and holds a master's degree in analytical chemistry, clinical psychology, as well as industrial uh, psychology. She is an alumnus department of management uh, studies, IIT Delhi. Her paper on stress management has been published in International Journal, Volume 3. Her poetry collection, Kavya Drisha and Kavish, are wonderful collection of poems written by her. Her poems reflect her positive outlook towards life. She has authored a self-help book uh, called Golden Success, Successful Skills. She has conducted numerous workshops in the past few years and has successfully made an impact on more than 25,000 individuals. Her work is appreciated by many eminent personalities from various fields and educational institutions. She has been felicitated with many awards and across national and international levels at UK and USA. Ma'am, thank you so much. Uh, you are most welcome here. Uh, hope we will all be benefited this 25,000 plus 100 year. Uh, thank you, ma'am.
Yeah, thank you so much, Amita Ma'am. It was such a lovely introduction. And I take this um, opportunity to uh, express my gratitude towards RFI and all the dignitaries and a special thank to Dr. Jen uh, for this wonderful brainstorming discussion. I personally feel that it's really uh, very important uh, and it's uh, much needed for positive transformation in businesses and ethical practices for the progressive society. And I really appreciate this joint effort of uh, Christian uh, Eminent College along with the RFI. Uh, am I audible? Uh, there is some network issue at my place. Sir, yeah, you are audible. Okay, thank you, sir. So uh, business sustainability is also known as corporate sustainability. And it is nothing but the management and coordination of the environmental, social, and financial demands and concerns to ensure the responsible ethical practices for success. Now, I would like to speak about the role of ethics in sustainable development. Sustainability is definitely a crucial piece of sustainable development. And the main goal of ethical sustainability is to think about how humans want to live while also considering their connection with the other humans and the natural world and the future generation. So if you talk about the relationship between ethics and uh, sustainability, I can say that as a sustainable ethical society, we must take everything into account. The environment, uh, the economic and the social factors. So we all are aware that in order to get the higher profits somewhere, the ethical values are getting hampered. And we all know what exactly is happening and we all need to, what all steps we need to take, uh, you know, to change it for the betterment of the society. I won't speak uh, much on that because we have very short time and there are so many speakers. So what I feel is our focus should be on how we can develop more ethical values at the workplace. And um, what I feel is that we must integrate the core values into day-to-day -day life. Without core values, it is nearly impossible to create an ethical workplace culture. So in the recent history also, teach, uh, if we see at the recent history, it teaches us anything is that ethics and character count, especially in business. So huge organizations like Enron and other uh, this thing, they have been destroyed and others were seriously damaged uh, by executives with massive ambition and intelligence. But no moral compass. So in today's ultra competitive, high tech and independent business world, charisma without conscience and cleverness without character are the recipe for economic and personal failure of epic portions, proportions. Uh, once as uh, US President Theodore Roosevelt had said, to educate the mind without morals is to educate a menace to society. Competitiveness, ambition, and innovation will always be important to success, but they must be regulated by core ethical principles like the ones which we, we are going to discuss. Now, ethical principles are universal standards of right and wrong prescribing the kind of behavior an ethical company or person should or should not engage in. Now, these principles provide a guide to making decisions but they also establish the criteria by which your decisions will be judged by others. In business, how people judge your character is critical to sustainable success because it is a basis of trust and credibility. Both of these essential assets can be destroyed by actions which are or the which are which are or are perceived to be unethical. So thus successful, uh, thus successful executives must be concerned with both their character and their reputation. I remember Abraham Lincoln once described character as the tree and reputation as the shadow. So your character is what you really are. Your reputation is what people think of you. Thus, your reputation is purely a function of perceptions. That is, do people think your intentions and actions are honorable and ethical? while your character is determined and defined by your actions. So whether your actions are honorable and ethical according to the, let's see, we can have a look at 12 principal uh, ethical, uh, principal, ethical principles. Because as uh, time is very short, I would like to focus on this 
12 ethical principles. Much has been said by my friend Enkelida in her presentation. So coming to directly the 12 ethical principles, I, I feel that all the companies should have uh, should follow these 12 ethical principles. First one is honesty. Be honest in all the communication and actions. Ethical executives are above all worthy of trust and honesty is the cornerstone of the trust. They are not only truthful, they are candid and forthright. So ethical executives do not deliberately mislead or deceive others by mispresentation, overstatements, partial truths, and selective omissions or any other means and when trust requires it, they supply relevant inf information and correct the misimpressions of fact. Second value is the integrity. And we are, we as a very, uh, we uh, as proud Indian, we can say that we have Tata group of companies which have this integrity as a core value. But the businesses must maintain their integrity, ethical executives, Earn the trust of others through personal integrity. When integrity is referred, it is referred as wholeness of the character, demonstrated by consistency between thoughts, words, and actions. Maintaining integrity. Hello. The inner strength to do the right thing, even when it may cost more than they want to pay. Um, the fight for the beliefs and do not uh, sacrifice for the expediency. Third one is promise keeping. All people should keep promises and fulfill the commitments which they make to their customers. Next is loyalty. Be loyal within the framework of other ethical principles. So ethical executives justify trust by being loyal to their organization and people they work with. So if we decide to accept the, uh, what you say, uh, hello, there's disturbance, I think. I yes, yes. ma'am, sorry for disturbing. Please back, ma'am. Please, ma'am, continue. I'm, I'm getting my echo only. What I'm saying, uh, saying no, I'm, I'm, I'm repeating that like it is echoing. Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, please continue. There is no issue. No. Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. So next point is fairness. Uh, the companies and businesses should strive to be fair and uh, in all the dealings. Next one is caring. Companies should demonstrate com compassion and genuine concern for all the well-beings of uh, the employees as well as the customers. Then uh, seventh point is respect for others. Treat everyone with respect. Ethical executives that demonstrate respect for the human dignity, autonomy, privacy, rights, and interests of all those who have a stake in their decisions. They are courteous and treat all the people with equal respect and dignity, regardless of sex, race, and the natural origin. So ethical executives adhere to the golden rule, striving to treat others and the way they would like to be treated. Then there should be law abiding. Obey the law. Ethical executives abide by the laws, rules, and regulation relating to their business activities. Then there should be commitment to excellence. Pursue excellence all the time in all the things. Your main motive should be, you know, ex to excel. Uh, the entire focus should not be on the only profit. So ethical executives pursue excellence in performing their duties. They are well informed and prepared, and constantly endeavor to increase their proficiency in all the areas of responsibility. And then next is leadership. Exemplify honor and ethics. E ethical executives are the conscious of all the responsibilities and opportunities of their position of leadership. And they seek positive ethical role models by their own conduct and by helping to create an environment in which principle, reasoning, and ethical decision making are highly prized. And then uh, again, the most important one is repetition and morale. Build and protect and uh, build the company's good reputation and morale of its em employees. Ethical executives, they must understand the importance of their own and their company's reputation, as well as their importance of the pride and good moral of the employees.
we should avoid the words or action that might under undermine respect and the and the check of affirmative step to correct or prevent inappropriate conduct of others and last but not the least is accountability be accountable ethical executive acknowledge and accept personal accountability for the ethical quality of their decisions and omissions to themselves their colleagues their companies and their communities so what i can say is that uh, that there are very important uh, uh, core values or the core principle as the base of building of your ideal workplace culture and that will provide the good behavior that that will promote the good behavior and prevent any ethical violation that will hurt your business or your company the i would like to talk about the three p's of sustainability the three p's of sustainability is a very well known and accepted business concept the three p's refer to people planet and profit so it is often referred as triple bottom line sustainable sustainability uh, has the role of protecting and maximizing the benefits of three p's so i would like to say that work on your people to develop strong ethics work on uh, build a, work on your people to develop strong ethics build a strong and diverse build a strong and diverse global network encourage positive communication which will have a positive impact on business on the society and of course the profit earned by positive means is long lasting and it helps for the exponential and sustainable business growth with this i would like to conclude my uh, speech and once again thanks a lot to dr jain and rfi for giving me this opportunity thank you i'm looking forward for a long term business association with you all thank you so much thank you thanks a lot thank you so much thank you for sharing your precious knowledge ma'am thank you so much I'm so sorry, there is a lot of disturbance from my side. Uh, the moment I click on switch on the camera, it is getting uh, diversified, uh, disconnected. So I'm sorry for the disturbance it might have caused. No, ma'am, there is no issue. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, thank you, thanks a lot. Now I would like to invite Dr. Shiv Dixit, sir, Department of Biotechnology Department. please come and introduce dr mamta gudial ma'am dr dikshit sir hello ma'am can you hear me yes sir yes ma'am thank you very much dikshit ma'am we are very very much fortunate on the behalf of entire teaching fraternity from christian eminent college indore why welcoming our distinguished guest Dr. Mamta Godial ji, a renowned and versatile personality, with us to ignite our participants in our international conference. Dr. Mamta Godial ma'am is working as a social worker along with the motivation to our learners by transforming their mindset for positive attitude, basically. Dr. Mamta Godial has been. the epitome of intelligence and courage she has worked for almost two decades in the banking sector also where her execution of blending planning programs has been extremely recognized in the field of more efficient banking sector she is associated now as a director as a director for world association of women warriors wow and also working as an ambassador at gga which is working for humanity dispersal at global platform respected mamta ma'am is also working as a honorary member of advisory boards like agragati education foundation which is involving for the training programs in various sectors for igniting our youth 
and is a member of various national juries and got international excellent award for her achievements ma'am is also associated with social media platforms like pinky establishment for working for women for making our women more strong ma'am is also working as a brand ambassador for various national and international magazines as a face of cover and iconic personality she always like to cherish the people and always care their career and improving their personality to the youth her first sense was to accomplish why why turning into a well being killer she has earned this reputation very extremely because of the role she played by working on many social platforms various and now working for the upliftment of our society by teaching moral values to our youth ma'am once again i am very thankful to be to be ignite us during our international conference ma'am this is ma'am please hand over the mic to our guest hello sir ma'am uh, join after few minutes okay okay so we are so fortunate by welcoming our guest so we are waiting for her speech in the in this conference tomorrow our technical session there is yes, 11 presentations okay yes ma'am mamta ma'am join within few minutes okay ma'am वेलकम ममता मैम रिस्पेक्टेड ममता मैम पिता ममता मैम आज है आप Yes, hi. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, hi, Indira. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you. Welcome, Thank you, Indira. Uh, I I request to Dikshit sir. Dikshit sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, sir, I request to you. Yes, ma'am. Please, please tell me. Welcome, ma'am. Uh, sir, please, please welcome to ma'am and uh, introduce, uh, introduce, uh, please, sir. Introduce uh, to ma'am. Ma I have to. I have to introduce. Okay, okay, ma'am. I have to introduce once again. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. 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 Good morning to all present over here. We are very much fortunate on the behalf of entire teaching fraternity from Christian Union College in Noor by welcoming our distinguished guest, Dr. Mamta Godial ji, a renowned and versatile personality, with us to ignite our participants in our international conference. Dr. Mamta Godial ji, ma'am, is working as a social worker 
along with the motivation to our learners by transforming their mindset for positive attitude basically dr ma'am dr manta godyal ma'am has been the epitome of intelligence and courage she has worked for almost two decades in the banking sector also where her education of blended programming and planning has been extremely recognized in the field of more efficient banking system she is also associated now as a director for world association of women warriors wow and also working as an ambassador at gga which is a platform for community dispersal at global platform respected man is also working as a honorary member of advisory boards of agragati education foundation which is working for training programs to enhance for the enhancement of youth and is a member of various national jury and got international excellence award for her achievement man is also associated with social media platforms and magazines like pinky establishment that is a site for working for women for making our women strong man is working as a brand ambassador for various national and international magazines as a face of our and iconic personality she always like to cherish the people and always care their career and improving their prosperity of other people which are associated with them she has earned this reputation very diversely because of the role she played for upliftment of our society men thank you very much for being a part of our international conference men please thank you so much dr shiv it is a pleasure you know to being here uh and uh, as you have mentioned that i am a seasoned banker and a social worker also i work with various organization with whether it is banking or you know being an entrepreneur i have seen that you know when we talk about man management uh, uh, you know there are two things uh, which we learn from our childhood days uh, one is iq and the other thing which actually plays a very vital role is the eq emotional quotient uh, which is very much important however we have seen that you know uh, in the management schools uh, and during our childhood days the you know uh, the classes are not there for uh, you know uh, on eq how to you know take care of our stress how to how to build leadership qualities and so forth so on so this is a very important aspect i think i believe that in our education curriculum it should be a part of uh, it should be a part and now you know being a brain reprogramming coach and uh, a mental wellness coach uh, today i would like to share few things with all of you uh, since it is one of the area which is very much close to my heart uh, and i believe the the person who is with higher or you can say the balanced eq has an exponential growth in any sector whether you are in manufacturing or in banking or uh, any sector you talk about so we have always talked about healthy mind and healthy body and we do lot for healthy body or uh, at least we think of doing certain things for healthy body but what about healthy mind you know it is really high time to take care of our mind and soul so uh, mind and soul actually you know support a, a good body and healthy relationship with self as well as with others so it also helps in regulating our emotions and so on so just like a diet chart there is a diet plan for our mind and it's known as healthy mind platter and this mind platter is actually made of seven essential mental activities which are required for a healthy mind 
uh, I'll share a platter with you, which is designed by Dr. David Rock and Dr. Dan uh, Segel. So by daily practicing, it will strengthen our brain and it will help. It will also help in, you know, attaining an uh, optimal balance. So uh, I just shared this, uh, this platter with all of you. Uh, I have designed this platter and I name it as my healthy mind platter, which includes uh, seven things. That is number one, sleep, physical time, focus time, time in, downtime, play time, and last but not the least, very important and crucial, that is connect time. So what are these things? So let us understand uh, step by step. The first thing is sleep. So it is, as you all know, that it is very much important to you know have eight hours of sleep, and it is scientifically also proven that eight hours of sleep is very much required for adults, uh, you know, for for consolidate learning and recover from the experience of the day. It is said that the recovery happens maximum from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. So uh, this is about this is a brief about sleep now let's go to physical time when i say physical time it means that the exercise uh, uh it means exercise so uh, what happens when we you know focus on exercises it actually increases the blood flow to the brain and it helps in memory formation and the response time the response speed the decision making ability the impulse control and ability to focus. We have seen that, you know, today's generation, you know, uh, uh, lack in uh, the, uh, they, you know, they do not have the focus or they do not, you know, they are very impatient. So physical time is something which can help everybody to, you know, to, uh, to uh, you know, focus on the things in a better way. Uh, they also help in decision making. Then there are many other things like aerobic activities that can also reduce stress, anxiety, and depression. So physical time plays a very important role in our, in our uh, you know, life. Then comes focus time. Focus time is the attention of single task. So it is most difficult one in the modern age as it, it is full of distraction. We have seen our children also, they are they are not able to focus and distract every single second. So uh, the message, uh, you know, the messages on mobile to distraction related to multiple projects, family life, personal commitment, etc. These are all, you know, uh, distractors. So start focusing on one thing at a time. It will help the brain to work in a better way. Uh, way. So when we say that we are doing multiple work at a time and we feel, you know, proud about it, do not feel proud about it that you are doing really great job. Actually, you are hampering your own brain by doing multiple things. Also, secondly, the brain cannot work two things at a single time. So focus on one particular thing at one time. It will help uh, in mental wellness and it will also help your brain to work in a better way. Next comes time in. It basically refers to all mindfulness techniques like meditation. Uh, you know, uh, so it helps. Uh, it helps in regulating your emotions. Uh, it also reduces the stress, anxiety, depression, and increases the awareness, creativity, and empathy. So. Time in is very much important wherein you are using your time for doing an activity just to understanding yourself, just to be with yourself uh, through such mindful activities. Next come downtime. Downtime is a time, you know, it is a state when you just sit down and relax and just chill out. Do daydreaming and believe me, this is the time when you get maximum, you know, insights. This wakeful state of rest activates the default network of brain. So, uh, 
Um, so ensure that this down time work is also there in your schedule. So many people schedule this activity just before meeting uh, or you know uh, having any important decisions. So uh, you know when you're sitting alone or when all the lights are off, especially when you see that when you're going you know for a sleep, not many thoughts come to your mind because that is your down time when you are you know thinking about all the things which have taken place during the day or what all best you can do so this time is very much important or it, it it is also said that it is a me time when you are just interacting with yourself which when you are just shutting down your mind and just thinking and relaxing and doing nothing next is play time uh, during our childhood days, this was a very important, you know, time when we all had loved to play. And this play time is the time when you are full of happiness and laughter. Uh, it helps in developing our social skills also, and it takes you to positive frame of mind. I can just recall uh, when I used to go to the park, and I was at the, you know. Uh, I used to look for my friends to play and I was, you know, all the time I was happy and making a social, you know, connects. So this is a time wherein it takes you away from all the negative thoughts, fears, anger, etc. So all the negative, th you are away from all the negative things and you are, you know, um, connected to all the positive thoughts. So it is very much important uh, thing that you can, you know, do during your playtime. Or, you know, uh, when I say playtime, it can also include your hobbies, which are very much close to your heart. So you can, you can, uh, you know, uh, do painting or you can, uh, you can call your friends, whatever you can, you want to do, you, you can just do it. Last but not the least is connect time. When I say connect time, connecting with people again, help you to manage your stress and maintain a positive outlook. So when I connect with my friends, it, you know, give me a different perspective and it gives me a different angle to look at a certain thing in a different way. So it is very much important to connect with people. Connecting with others actually uplift our mood and take your energy to a higher level. So connecting time not only means to connect with people, but it also suggests the natural world. So uh, these are the seven steps, seven, you know, my, my healthy plateau, which I would suggest everyone to include in your life. And I'm sure if you will, you will include all these, you know, seven uh, things in your life that is sleep, physical time, focus time, time in, downtime, play time and connect time. You know, the life will be really very blissful and you will be more focused. Uh, your uh, life will be not only healthy, but very much uh, wealthy also. A uh, healthy mind, uh, you know, can give you a lot of things. So uh, over to you, Dr. Shivji. If you want me to add some more things, do let me know. Thank you so much, ma'am. We are all agree with your uh, thoughts. Uh, you share with us very important information about physical health and mental health and time management. Thank you so much, Mamta Ma'am. Thank you so much. You're oh, welcome. Thank you. Now, end of the program, I would like to invite Professor Kulkit Yadav for vote of thanks. Kulkit Yadav, sir. Good afternoon, all. Thank you is such a prayer that cannot be seen or touched. It must be felt by heart. I feel honored and privileged to get the opportunity to propose a vote of thanks on this special occasion. I would like to thank all the honorable delegates who blessed us with their presence. I'm also very much thankful to all program advisory committee members and the invited speakers. Words are not enough to thank their constant guidance and support to shape the conference. I, on the behalf of organizing committee, convey deep regards and heartily thanks to our honorable chairman, Mr. Samir Mir, sir, honorable director, Dr. H. N. Gupta, sir, director admin, Vice Chauhan, sir, 
I'm also very thankful to the principal, Dr. Rajesh Rao sir, and vice principal, Dr. Rajesh Shah sir. They helped us in obtaining the necessary administrative approval for organizing the event. They supported in all the possible manners to organize this conference. My special thanks to Dr. Saurabh Jain sir, Chairman and CEO, Research Foundation of India, for his gracious presence. My sincere thanks to Professor Dr. Ashok Kumar Gupta, CMD, Research Foundation of India, Dr. Ajay Jain sir, National Coordinator of RFI, for their help and support at various stages. I would like to thank our beloved Head of Department, Dr. Kiran Panchal, for her constant help and guidance that radiated a source of energy within us. We will ever remain grateful to you and we will thank you for being with us today. I'm very much thankful to all the faculty colleagues and non-teaching staff members who always stand by us and motivated us. I feel proud and thank you for making this event a successful one. An event of this dimension cannot happen overnight. The wheels start rolling months in advance. We have been fortunate enough to back by a team of very motivated and dedicated committee and volunteers. I cannot thank everyone enough for the involvement they have shown and the willingness they have expressed to take on the completion of tasks beyond their comfort zones. I am very much thankful to the Research Foundation of India. It would have been impossible to organize it without their support. If the time is money, then today you have spent millions for us. Thanks to all of you for making this event successful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, all of you. Tomorrow technical session is started sharp 11 o'clock. So I request to you all, please join tomorrow. Thank you so much.